We are live. So I am going to call the November 10th meeting of the Larkspur Planning Commission to order. Could we start with a roll call? Uh, Commissioner Wagstaff. You're oh, muted. Here. <laughs> Commissioner Kunstler. Here. Commissioner Chalmers. Here. Commissioner Swisher. Present. Chair Tauber. Here. Thank you. Uh, the next thing is public comment on matters that are not on the agenda. And let me just see if we have people. Is there anyone in the, from the public who would like to speak uh, anything that is not on the agenda? If you could raise your virtual hand, if you do. Don't see any hands raised. I don't see any hands raised either. So I will um, move on to the planning director's report. Actually, Neil had nothing for me to pass on to you tonight. Um, the one thing I thought you might be interested in is that we will be doing sort of a soft opening. I guess not even opening. We're going to keep City Hall locked, but we will start allowing people in with uh, appointments only for particular types of things that are just easier to manage when they are with you. So we, if, if anyone asks, you can let them know that for certain things, we will schedule appointments and allow them in the building and we'll meet in the council chambers. Cool. That's it. All right. We do have an item on the consent calendar, um, which is 41 Madrone Avenue. Is there anyone who would like to take it off the consent calendar and have a more formal discussion about it. All right. Okay, I am seeing none. Uh, so is would anyone like to make a motion to approve the item on the consent calendar? I'll I'll move to approve the um, DR 20-2841 Madrone Avenue. I'll second. No. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? I don't think there are. So um, the design review for 41 Madrone Avenue was unanimously approved. Um, and I guess there is a 10 day appeal period if anybody would like to, um, to city council on that one. The first public hearing item is um, for 99 Dartmouth. Oops, let me get the right one here. Um, it is design review exception permit for a new window opening and a fence height exception. Um, as I said, for 99 Dartmouth, that's 20-29. Um, uh, if we could have the, the staff report. Sure. I do want to clarify. It actually is a 20-30. Um, okay. I, I made a typo on the um, public notice and I guess it got carried over to the agenda. Oh, I'm sorry. I was reading off the agenda. Yeah. 20-30. So 20-30, okay. So the applicants are requesting design review, accept, an exception permit to allow a new window opening within the uh, building wall that maintains a non-conforming street side yard setback from Dartmouth Drive. It's on a corner lot. And they are um, applying for a fence height exception um, to allow a six foot, uh, six foot and eight inch fence to encroach into the 15 foot front yard setback. However, the, uh, I would like to note that the fence height exception uh, was left off of the uh, public notice. So um, that, that permit will be continued to the next meeting, but can be discussed at tonight's meeting. Okay. So the, the subject site is a flat 7,914 square foot parcel with an average grade of 0% flat lot located in the Hillview neighborhood. For the original subdivision approval, this lot was granted a variance to provide a 15 foot front yard setback where the R1 residential um, zoning standard would normally require a 20 foot front yard setback. As defined in the code, the front lot line for this property abuts two lane drive because it's the shorter, um, the shorter of the two sides, three sides. This, um, 
the site is improved with an existing um, two, 2,359 square foot um, single story residence with a two car garage. An additional two guest parking spaces are provided on the existing driveway. The existing residential structure complies with lot coverage and height limits, but it has an existing non-conforming rear and street side yard setback. The applicant is proposing to construct a one-story addition um, to the home. The proposed addition includes a guest bedroom and bath, half bath, family room and living room extension with a new hipped roof that ties into the existing residence. The additions would add approximately 659 square feet, resulting in a total floor area of 3,018 square feet and a 0.38 FAR where 3,166 square feet um, is permitted by code. Additional improvements inc include reconfiguration of the interior floor plan and an interior kitchen remodel, which includes a larger window in the westerly wall facing, um, facing to Doherty Drive. The proposed project will increase the lot coverage from, I'm sorry, it will, facing um, Dartmouth Drive. The proposed project will increase um, the lot coverage from 2,409 square feet to 3,114 square feet where again, 3,166 square feet are, is allowed by code. The new hipped roof line for the addition will increase the existing roof height in the area of the addition by uh, one foot and 10 inches from 18 feet, uh, six inches to 20 feet, four inches, and will, re will remain well below the 30 foot height limit allowed by code. In addition, the project proposes minor exterior changes, including two uh, wooden decks to provide a transition to the yard and the removal of an existing brick chimney from the southerly elevation. The existing front fence um, is listed as, as six feet in height and, and, and is currently 20 feet and five inches from the existing property line. The project proposes um, to remove and replace the fence with a new uh, six foot eight inch fence placed six feet from the front lot line and nine feet and nine inches from the edge of the sidewalk. As proposed, the new additions and exterior remodeling of the residence would update the um, exterior of the home to a more contemporary architectural appearance. New additions would be finished with uh, groove siding to match the existing painted uh, medium brown hipped roof lines to match the existing home and new class A shingles. New windows and doors are proposed to be wood clad with a white finish and a brick veneer at the garage and northerly elevation would be a natural color. The um, materials and sample board is provided on sheet A3.3. Uh, staff finds the proposed residence and finished materials to be attractive and consistent with the criteria for approval of applications. As proposed, the new additions would add to the existing building footprint and maintain a similar height. Although the addition would be um, more visible from the two lane drive street frontage. It maintains the, the addition maintains the required 15 foot front yard setback and would be 24 feet, eight inches from the southerly property line. Therefore, the residents would continue to remain compatible with the prevailing neighborhood character and scale and pattern of development of the neighborhood. Homes along Dartmouth Drive and Tulane Drive near this residence are uh, generally oriented in a side-by-side -side configuration with primary views out toward their front and rear yards. New windows on the addition look in an easterly and southerly direction into the yard of the subject site and toward the side elevation at 171 two land drive. However, as the proposed addition would be 24 feet, eight inches from the shared um, lot line, the neighbor will not be significantly or unreasonably impacted with regard to privacy views or light. Um, let's see. Um, the existing home uh, currently has a nine foot, nine inch street side setback from the Dartmouth Drive frontage, where a 10 foot street side setback is required by code. The interior kitchen remodel includes a larger window opening within the non-conforming setback. Um, no alterations to the existing, uh, no other alterations to the existing wall or new wall projections are proposed. And further, the proposed new window would face toward the Dartmouth Drive roadway and would not result in a, uh, any impact on surrounding residences. For these reasons, the exception permit will not increase the existing non-conformity. The proposed project otherwise conforms to the standards and regulations of this code will not be detrimental to the health, safety, welfare, um, or structure. Um, to provide additional private yard area around the proposed additions, um, the plans include moving, as I mentioned before, moving the existing uh, six foot, eight inch fence facing two lane drive 
um, up to six feet from the front property line where a 15 foot front yard setback is required. However, due to an additional three feet of unapproved right of way, the fence would be set back nine feet, nine inches from the edge of the sidewalk. Staff, um, staff has noted that the surrounding corner lots, uh, corner lot homes at the intersection of Tulane and Dartmouth are also, also provided shallower street side setbacks from Tulane Drive and the, the proposed um, six foot fence at nine feet, nine inches is not out of character with the, um, with the adjacent properties. Um, so staff, staff recommends that the planning commission uh, determine if, uh, if the um, permits may be approved as proposed. If the commission determines the project can be approved, the planning commission um, can continue its application to the consent calendar of the November 24, 2020 agenda and allow staff to re-notice the fence site exception. Um, and that's the staff report. And I'll take any questions. All right, Aaron, just um, so is the zoning in uh, Hillview Gardens different in terms of front yard? Because the address is Dart Dartmouth. Mm -hmm. it, normally, it would be a 20 foot, uh, 15 foot setback or 20 foot setback from so, the. Uh, oh yeah. So in, in Hillview, they have um, this, this lot has a 15 yard, uh, sorry, 15 foot front yard setback. And Tulane is actually. Uh, um, consider the front lot line by code because it's the shorter of the two um, of the two frontages. Huh. So if you see two lane has a 60 foot um, lot um, showing on screen and the Dartmouth side is actually 80 feet. Uh, and and in fact the front the Dartmouth side has a nine foot nine inch setback uh, the existing right, yes, and that that won't change. That won't change. I mean, it no, can't change. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Um, the other question I had is: Is um, Hillview in the Wooey <coughs> zone or not? In the Wooey? Yeah. No, no in the Wildland Urban Interface, and that's okay. not. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Aaron, I had a question. So what is the rule around the fence then? If, if they didn't, if the applicants did not apply for an exception, what then is the rule regarding the fence? Is there a, a lower height limit, like three, three and a half feet or, or what, what is it? Right, so front, front yard fences are um, by code supposed to be three and a half feet, but um, I, well, I don't wanna speculate, but the, maybe the, the owners, um, I believe we're considering um, considered Dartmouth to be their front and Tulane to be their side. So that's I, what I, you know, assume how this um, height of fence um, came to be at, on this side. But right. by, by definition, Tulane is um, the front yard. Okay, and in, is, is there in the materials? Is there anything showing what the the new fence would look like. Right. So we, um, so the fence, we On received the a late, you sure we received a late mail. Oops. We received a late mail of the fence height detail um, late last week. And then I'm um, furloughed on Friday. So uh, I sent this on Monday. Um, not sure if, if you all received it, but it's shared up on the screen. So it looks, um, you can I see it. I placed them in all of the packets. I tucked them in, but they were unattached to anything. Yeah, I got it in my packet. Yeah, you know what? I did get this. I, I said existing redwood fence, so I just assumed that was the existing fence, but this is what the new one's going to look like. But six feet from the property line as opposed to the existing 20 feet. From the Yes, from the property line. And then there's another three feet of unimproved um, right of way. So it's about nine feet, nine inches from the edge of the curb. So it okay. appears a bit further, but... Yeah, six feet from the property line is what, what I measured. Um, so Aaron, other houses on uh, Tulane have six foot fences that are pretty close. And they look like their addresses must be Tulane because uh, they're not on corner lots. So it's sort of the pattern of the neighborhood that people are fencing with taller fences or yeah, that, that's what I noticed also. And I, I mentioned that in my in, in the staff report that some of the homes on, on Tulane and in, in the neighborhood do have um, fences that 
that front the street that appear to be six feet? There is a house across the street that's across and over like one that has a fence like that. Right. That's why I mentioned it. it in my estimation, it wouldn't be sort of too out of character, I think at six feet, um, but possibly at you know six feet, eight inches, that may be up for discussion. Right, um, so they, just, just to be clear, they, uh, Aaron, they're proposing a six foot, eight inch high fence. Uh, yes, that's what, um, what was shared in this um, yeah. uh, fence, fence detail. Okay, and it's and it's staff's view that that is excessive. With with regard to the uh, the to the other neighbors, I would I mean I think it's up for discussion. Oh, no, I think I six feet is typical. The staff can still mm -hmm. make a recommendation to us, um, and 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 the staff's view. Um, and the, your email says that the staff does view that as being at six foot eight. That is being effective, excessive. Yeah, maybe, maybe excessive. Okay, uh, if it were at six feet, you would your your opinion might be swayed to take into account that there are other properties in the neighborhood that uh, and along two lane that also do have six foot high fences. Is that correct? Uh, that, yes, that that's correct. Okay, thanks. And the existing fences six feet. Um, this, yes, no, this detail actually lists this as the ex existing redwood fence, and it's listed at six feet, eight inches as the existing. The difference here is that the existing fence is um, 20 Perfect. feet, you know, 20 feet away from the, from the property line, where now it's moving up closer. Yeah. Okay. Are there any other questions? If not, I will invite the applicant to present. And I don't know, is that Stephanie? Um, Stephanie is the owner. So uh, Nora emailed me prior to the meeting. Um, she's using um, someone else's laptop un under the name of Nick German. So I'll allow um, Nora to speak now. A lot of talking. Oh, actually it says, give me a message that this person is not available to speak because it's an older version of Zoom, so not I sure. I think Stephanie and Nick have hands up. Yeah, so let's let's let um I'll let Stephanie talk at this point. Uh, Stephanie, Hi, you can uh, unmute yourself. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. yes. This is so great. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this is Stephanie Wolf, and I am happy to speak to or respond to anything, um, but I'd like to just comment on the fence to clarify that. Um, so we do not intend to change the look of the fence. The fence that's there now is what you see on that drawing. Um, it, I went out and measured it all like in different locations. It measured to about six, eight, a six feet, eight inches in some locations and then some were a little bit shorter. So I don't know if it's just like the uneven ground or what, but um, we intend to keep it the same. We put this fence up several years ago after it blew down in a storm and we did it together with our neighbors. So it's the same look, materials, everything and the same height as um, the section of it that actually belongs to the neighbors. It's smaller for them because their house is facing a different direction. Their front, their true front with the front door is two lane, unlike us. Um, so our intention is to keep that the same and blend it right in so that it looks as it does now when with respect to height. I'm not, I, I don't think there's any reason to consider the height excessive. It's like I said, it, it is what it is now. It will be what it is now. Um, it blends directly with the height of the neighbor. And there are several homes around with similar, if not maybe even taller. I think some of them actually look taller than ours, but um, does that clarify that? I'm happy to answer if there's still any concerns about that fence. Just to be clear, um, Stephanie, you, you are you are nonetheless you, you, you're you're rebuilding the same fence, or are you moving this fence? If I mean, uh, I haven't spoken to 
any fence folks about that. Personally, I'd love to reuse it if we can. It's not old. I think, I think it might have been like six years ago, roughly. Um, so if it's in good enough condition and it can be moved, I'd be very happy to do that. And then just to fill in the small amount that it would require with new materials, but we'll do whatever it takes. If we have to do a new one, we will, but it would be the same look. Okay. All right. Thank you. It matches all the way around our, um, the three sides of our property. It's the same between us and the neighbor, and it's the same on Magnolia right along that greenway. All of our homes, like all along that street have fences along the greenway on Magnolia. So it's, it's all the same. And then, and then when you move the fence forward, sorry, this is Natasha, yeah. the, um, you're planning to put plantings in, in front of the fence. I think I see that on the plan. Yeah. Yeah. So if you see the picture that's showing now, it has lots of growth there. Um, and that, I mean, we're very flexible to, I'm, I'm looking at the middle photo. That's the side that we're talking about there where my garage shows. And I've actually been told that um, it's desirable to get rid of all of that because I think it's viewed as a fire hazard, frankly. So um, I think we would pull out that stuff and just replace it with something suitable and attractive. I mean, we're not looking to do anything controversial or fancy or, you know, or anything, but yeah, we would, we would take that out if it's viewed as a hazard, which I think it's undesirable, whatever that is. Do, do you all have any comments on that? I mean, we're happy to take direction on that. I can't speak to the fire hazard, but um, I, it does soften the fence. I, I did come and look at look at the project. Yeah, we would replace it with something if it comes out. But certainly some of that needs to come out um, right along our fence. You can't really see it in that picture because the tree and all the other growth, but there are some things growing right along the fence, like bushes kind of trees, I guess. Does, are there any other questions for Stephanie? Okay, thank you. I see Nick has his hand up. Yeah, when I, when I press to allow to talk, um, I get a message that says that the, the version of Zoom that they are using is, is too old and it needs to be updated. So I, I, told, um, I told Nora, the applicant, that she can try to call in, but I don't know um, how long we're willing to wait. Is there anyone else who'd like to speak on this project? If, if you can raise your hand. Uh, Nick put his hand down or her hand down. <laughs> um, see any other hands? Um, okay, well, I guess with no other public comment, I'll bring it back to the commission for thoughts on the project. And at least in the order on my screen, I'm gonna start with commis Commissioner Slisher. So um, I think um, it's fine. I don't have any uh, problems with it. I, I'm sorry, wait, I, I see Nora is now Nora. Oh, oh okay. Hand up. So sorry. sorry, Jeff. No problem. <laughs> Wanted to give give her a chance to speak. Okay. okay well, no, Nora, you should be able to unmute yourself. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Sorry about that. I just wanted to clarify also that my measurements are seven foot one inch uh, from the fence to the property line and 11 foot seven inches to the back of the sidewalk. Um, also just clarify that everybody in the neighborhood considers Dartmouth the front yard and there is no fence um, on Dartmouth. It, that's where the front door and that's where the entry to this whole Hillview neighborhood. And I'm not sure if you realize, but uh, this was the number one model house for this whole 
neighborhood and the um, the width of the street at Dartmouth is 75 feet wide and the other streets are only 50 feet wide. So um, I think that allowing them to keep the, this existing fence the same height. Um, I know technically it's two lanes considered the front yard, but practically speaking, it, I think um, most everybody else would consider Dartmouth the front yard. I just wanted to say that, um, just clarify that about the fence. And one other thing I wanted to clarify, I think there was a, maybe a, um, the numbers were transposed in the staff, repo, the staff report. The coverage is 3,144, um, not 3,114. It's the same that's written on um, the data table under project data on uh, my sheet A1.0. Okay, thank you for the clarifications. Okay. All right, Jeff, I'm gonna go back to you. Oops. <laughs> video. Sorry, I keep, uh, wait a second, I'll be right there. Start video. There we go. Um, so yeah, I don't have any problem with this. Um, I don't think that's, uh, I think it's the existing fence that was there. Uh, I think that if neighbors don't have a problem with it, um, I think it, and there's other neighbors who have similar fences, uh, I think that's fine. I mean, I, you could quibble over inches, but I don't, I'm not a big fan of quibbling over, you know, that. So I think it's fine. Okay, thank you. Uh, Commissioner Chalmers. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, so I think, so my thoughts on this was, uh, I agree with uh, the findings on the design review and the um, exception permit for the new window opening. I did hesitate on the fence. Um, and like Commissioner Swisher, I don't want to quibble over it, but I, um, I did drive down to have a look and the area is a very open area. I see a lot of people with, with uh, open front and side areas around, of the, around their houses. Um, so when, when looking at the rules, it seems like bringing that fence forward from 20 feet to six feet was quite a dramatic change. Um, so I, I, I was hesitating on that. However, I do understand it. I think what they're trying to do from, from their perspective, because that garden and where that fence is, I believe it's part of the, the backyard. So they're just trying to keep their backyard enclosed and private, given that this house is on a corner lot. So does that make that more complicated, more complicated? So, um, so I, I guess I'm just hesitating on the fence a little bit, and I kind of want to hear the rest of the, the thoughts of the commission. Okay. Commissioner Wagstaff. Yeah, um, I think what they're doing with the house is going to make it a lot nicer. I think the siding helps, and I think the new roof will will help a lot. Um, you know, it, it'll be a, I think it'll be a, a nice um, change. I, I personally think the fence ought to remain at six feet. Um, I don't think it's, since they're moving it, it, it's, I don't see why the eight inch, it should be six foot eight. It, even if it's the existing fence, if it's the way it's drawn, you just drop it down a little bit. Often uh, matching fences um, with neighbors, you step them down anyway, depending on what the topography is doing. So, um, it, it feels like there's not a real reason to do six foot eight. Um, and then, you know, when the next one comes along, you have the, the same story. I think if they did an open lattice work at the top of the fence, that would make a difference. Just so um, I guess I'm not in favor of, of a six foot eight fence, but the rest of it's great. Okay, thank you. Commissioner Consort. Thank you. So my understanding is that the, the their intent uh, is a six foot fence, but they happen to go out and measure and observe a six foot six foot eight inch. So um, given the pattern of development of the um, you know, in the uh, you know in the area and on on what is, I guess effectively, I mean it's sort of a given this a corner lot. It's a little bit complicated to. Mm -hmm. uh, Sort of a pine as to you know what should qualify as the front yard as opposed to what should qualify as the as the, as the side yard, 
uh, and I don't I don't want to you know I want I don't want to quibble over you know over that over that particular distinction. So uh, I would be comfortable with uh, an approval of a six foot fence. Um, I don't think I can make a finding for a six foot eight inch fence. So if in uh, in the final uh, in the final application, which is submitted after we continue the item. <coughs> Uh, if uh, if it's specified that yes we're approving a six foot fence and I'm 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 fine with it and I'll, and and yes I agree with uh, with Brock's uh, comments on the uh, on the remainder of the house I think it's uh, it is a you know it is a it is a modest uh, it is a modest and thoughtful uh, upgrade which complies with what we need to make the findings. Thank you. Um... I guess I too don't really have a problem with the addition. Um, I, I I went and looked. Um, I it it seems to match kind of what else is going on in the house and makes sense to me from a program standpoint. Um, so I I wondered about the fence too. Um, <laughs> so we're all stuck on the fence. Um, I actually went up and stood next to the fence to, to get a sense of how much taller than me it was. And it seemed really tall. Um, so I don't know whether it's six, eight or what it is, but it, it does seem tall. And, and um, I also felt like if you push it out to the street, it's a very tall fence, even that much closer to the street. And, you, and um, I feel now you have all the landscape in front, which sort of hides the fence a little bit. Um, so I would feel better if it was six feet instead of six feet eight, two. I think um, some mitigating factors are, I, I agree with um, what Thora said, which is the front door is, is not there. It is around the corner. So this really is the side of the house. And the fence only runs from the, the driveway over. So it's not even along the whole wall which makes me feel a little better too. It's really only like half or, you know, something a little maybe more than that of the house. So I would really like it to be lower, but I could live with it, um, particularly if there were ways to sort of soften the fence a little bit. And as I said, I, I saw the fence of the house across the street. They do have the lattice on top of the fence across the street. Um, and I understand that's not what we're really proposing here because we wanted to match the other fences. Um, but that fence seemed very tall to me as well. So that's kind of where I am. Would I, and I know that we would have to continue this because we didn't notice the fence height exception. So, um, I guess the question is, do we feel like we have consensus? We, it sounds like we, we would approve this except for the questions around the fence. Is there consensus around the fence? Are, are we asking for the fence to be six feet, no more than six feet? Because I kind of heard that. Um, I guess, is, is anybody feeling, feeling like making a motion out there? Well, well the, the um, uh, Laura, the uh, in the staff report on, on, on three, the application as it stands now proposes a six foot fence. It does. Um, so I'm, I'm happy, uh, you know, because I think what staff is proposing is that we continue it, that um, they then include the wording on the fence in, um, in, in an application on the consent calendar for next, uh, for next time. So uh, if that could be achieved, meaning that we are, we know that we are approving, uh, we're making the findings for a six foot fence and I'm, you know, I can, I could easily go along with that. I think we would want to make it clear if that is our intent though, that it, that we're approving a six foot fence and not a six foot eight fence. Yeah, that's, that's my point, you know, yeah. you know better articulated by you than by me. So would so it sounds like maybe we have a motion to continue this. Yeah. Can we um, can we hear the com? I think Stephanie Wolf has yeah. her hand up. Do we want to hear what uh, comments she has, maybe on that? Sure. That she may have some suggestions on the fence. 
Stephanie. Hi. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. Um, I just thought I would mention another thing or two um, in case it helps the consideration. Uh, I don't know if it has been shared, but I did submit letters from lots of our neighbors, including all of the neighbors directly next to us, plus one over for each of those. And then also some people that are just in other couple of like few random places throughout the neighborhood, because I know everybody comes past their house, as you mentioned, being on the corner and being at the entrance. Um, everyone has supported it. We also saw lots of people on Halloween um, from a distance. And they all were asking about it and everyone was just saying like, oh, we're so happy that you're doing this. Um, and so I do wanna point out specifically, even though the people that are all next to us, we, we showed them all the plans and we talked to them about it all. Um, we've talked about the feds even, and nobody had any concern about that. Um, so in case that's of interest, I did want to make sure that you're aware of that as far as people that live in the neighborhood. Um, and I think that like from my perspective, it would be a shame for us to have to spend the money and all the materials that would go into putting a new one there if we're able to just use what we have um, just over that number of inches. So I'm really hoping that we can, you know, have approval to use what we have, but it is an interesting thing as one of the commissioners pointed out that I mentioned that um, I, I did actually think it was six feet and it's like different in some spots. So I don't know if it has to do with like where there's cement in our backyard and how things have settled or what, but um, we won't go taller than needed by any means. And I'd love to be able to reuse it. So if reusing it, you know, kicks it up toward the six, eight versus six, I hope we can have permission to do that. Um, but, you know, I, I guess those were my considerations and, and the request rather than having to spend resources on a new fence just over that, given that other people haven't expressed any concern about it. it uh, you know, it, it is true that uh, that you know, recycling uh, recycling existing material is something that uh, you know we, we generally like. Um, yeah, I would love to do, be able to do that. <laughs> and, and, and I don't know if um, if it's, there's a, a question of actually how the fence is set into the you know into the ground um, uh, you know, for for support. So you know that might give you some guidance as how you can. Uh, you know, attempt to comply with a six foot height. Um, and, you know, if it's, you know, from my perspective, if it turns out that somebody goes out with a tape measure and shows it shows it's a little bit higher than the six feet, it's not something I personally would want to quibble over um, as, long as, the, as long as the intent is to keep it as close to six feet as possible. Sure. Yeah, we'd be happy to. But I'm I, I'm not I'm one voice of uh, you know of five other commissions so you know, we can hear from everybody else as well. You know I'm I'm a that that seems sensible to me too. And when I looked around the neighborhood, the the houses that had fences that were high closer to the sidewalk um, tended to have a more attractive frontage with some kind of plantings out front. So I think if they did the same thing here, that would help. I think Laura had said about softening the, the, the sort of the final look. Um, I know you talked about uh, a fire hazard. I mean, I think there are plants that are more fire resistant than others. So if that can be incorporated into the plan, I think that would be really helpful. Yeah, I don't know, does, does that level of detail go into these or not? But we, we certainly intend to have plants out there or some kind of nice looking softening growth. <laughs> Absolutely. Just something nicer than what we have now. It also happens not to be very attractive, I think, the stuff that's in there. So we'd like to put something nice in there. I think actually, uh, if I can just add something, I, I mean, the six foot eight is not uh, uh, such a horrible thing, but I think in reality, if you uh, put those posts in concrete, you're going to end up taking that fence apart to move it in any case. Mm -hmm. And um, 
and in that case, it would be nice if it were done at, at the, uh, the height that's allowed at, at six feet. And um, maybe, you know, we can leave it up to you, but um, I think you're gonna find that there's big concrete blocks at the bottoms of those posts. And you're gonna have to knock that apart or take the fence apart to begin with. So having done this a few times, <laughs> Can, can I just interject for a minute? Um, being the zoning administrator who processes the 99%, most fence height exceptions. Um, first, it is, I agree with Brock that it's likely that fence will have to be pulled apart in order to move it. And it's not impossible to cut down the height of the boards and reframe them in a lower height. So I think reusing material is totally doable if they're cautious with it. Um, second, there is no fence detail in the plan. So I just want to point out that although the neighbors are very supportive and I totally think they are, um, I'm not sure that they saw a fence detail or understand exactly the height of the fence that's proposed at that location. It's hard to know until we advertise it and we get a response directly on the fence detail that would then be distributed publicly or be available publicly and, um, when they are aware they need to look for it. Um, and third, with fence height exceptions, I commonly require um, uh, planting schemes in the front to allow staff to enforce that planting scheme and make sure that the softening you're looking for actually gets done. That's it. Um, I guess, Christian, um, if, uh, if the applicant um, does in fact uh, you know maybe resubmit your know, one you know, the 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 uh, relevant page uh, in the plans to include the detail on the fence um, and and the plantings that you're suggest or or the landscape some landscaping details you're suggesting uh, that would not necessarily preclude putting it on a consent calendar. No, not at all. It's it's not a complicated project. Um, if you're already aware of it, supportive of it in concept with certain details that you'd like addressed, then there's no reason it can't be on consent. Okay. Um, but we do need to know specifically the maximum height that you're gonna allow because that has to go in the legal notice. Yeah, and I would, I would say that the maximum height should be, should be six feet. I think Brock um, um, you know, pointed out that, uh, and you pointed out that that's something that could be accomplished without uh, jeopardizing the reuse of the existing materials. And I would support that as well. I would support that too with, with the addition of plantings shown on the plans. So I, 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 I think agree. Is there a way to approve it and, and leave it to staff to, um, uh, to look at the final, you know. I don't think we can because it wasn't noticed. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, okay. yeah. But like you said, we can just put it on consent um, as long as they give us a revised fence deal detail in the plan with the planting scheme. Yeah. So we just continue uh, as was proposed by, um, you know, by Aaron as we we. Um, we just proceed as, uh, as staff suggested, meaning that we continue the item and we've got an understanding of giving direction to, to staff and to the applicant. And, and I think we're fairly clear on direction. I think we've asked for planting scheme and a fence no higher than six feet tall. So what we need to do is to move to continue the item. Is that correct? Yeah. I'm going to do that <laughs> if, if you're ready. Please do. Uh, I, I move that we continue um, design, ref design review exception permit fence height exception um, 20 30 relative to 99 Dartmouth Drive in Larkspur. Is there a second? Second. Do you want to include your direction yeah. specifically? Yeah. In okay. Um, uh, with, with the understanding that the applicant will, uh, will resubmit plans with. Um, uh, with detail on the uh, fence design, not to exceed six feet, and with the landscaping detail. Okay, second. Second, yeah. 
Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. So that five votes to continue. Okay, moving on to, let's see, design review 20-36. Um, it's for farm shop restaurant and um, it is to, to approve an extension of a, of a roof, a permanent roof structure. Uh, could we have the staff report? Thank you, I'm gonna be very brief. This is not a complicated project. Um, and when the uh, Barksford Landing Shopping Center, now the uh, Marin Country Mart was approved, the governing ordinance directed that the design review has final say over um, design review board, final say over the finishing ex exterior um, of the building and the roof forms. And therefore, as since the Planning Commission has now taken over the role as, of design review board, um, we have brought this to you for final approval. The applicants proposed a pretty modest roof extension to cover their existing outdoor seating area, which was approved in 2002. They're trying to both uh, survive during the COVID pandemic and also just um, make their outdoor seating a bit more integrated into their uh, restaurant and feel a bit more part of it, I think. Uh, we did provide you with a, a complete breakdown of how we feel it does not have any material impact on the structure, particularly when you're viewing it from the roadways surrounding the properties. Um, it's only going to be visible from the interior courtyard. It, it seems that it's a, a fairly um, cohesive design that works well with the structure. It won't really stand out in any uh, negative way. And we did provide you with findings and conditions of approval in the staff report. Uh, that addresses how it works in detail. If you have any questions, I am available to answer them. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, thank you. Um, would, would the applicant like to present? I think it's pretty straightforward, but. It's Heda, hey, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher her name. Okay. There she is. Yep. Um, unmute yourself now. Um, hi. 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 This is Heidi. I'm with Chrome Architecture. Um, I, I wasn't planning on presenting because it's a pretty simple project and Kirsten seemed to have covered it all, uh, but I'm available if you have any questions. I think you're right. It's pretty straightforward, but does anybody yeah. have any questions? Okay. Um, is there anyone else that would, member of public, who'd like to speak on this one? Okay. Uh, Commissioner comments. Commissioner Kunstler. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's very simple. I yeah, I can't imagine any possible objection I could conjure up. In fact, it's going to be more attractive than it's, uh, it's what's there. I, I do, I'll, I'll just say this, I do find it uh, interesting that we should receive this kind of application because uh, it's quite possible that uh, uh, with uh, with COVID and more distancing of, uh, of restaurant patrons that we might see you know, more applications of this nature. So it's sort of uh, interesting to see the first one come across the transom, uh, but I have absolutely no issue whatsoever. Commissioner Wagstaff. I, I also think it's just just fine. It'll be a nice space to eat out in. And it'll be warmer. <laughs> okay, Commissioner Chalmers. Yeah, I also agree. I mean, th that area, uh, that sort of courtyard area around the pond is really popular. Um, and I and I did actually go down there just to see, because it, it's very bright and there's a lot of space, but there's so much space there that I think this has no impact and it's, um, it just works really well. Commissioner Swisher. I think it's great. Anything that keeps us distant and uh, keep the virus at bay, I'm all in favor of. So there you have it. Thank you. And I too, I, I, I think it's great. I think, you know, this is this is what we're gonna be doing. Um, we, we, we need to make it livable and help our restaurants stay in business any way they can. So keep the elements off the diners and as warm as possible. So I, I, 
think it makes total sense. So I think we'll, this will be pretty easy. Anybody want to make a motion to approve? I, I'll move to approve uh, design review 20-30, uh, large spur landing circle, farmhouse restaurant, uh, roof extensions. Uh, all right, all in favor say aye. aye. 36 just for the record. Yes, 20-36. Oh, it's 36, okay. 36 on the right end. And while we're at it, I'll second. <laughs> I thought you already did. Okay, <laughs> all in favor say aye. 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 Okay. That also approves unanimously. Okay. The next thing we have is a business item to adoption of findings for approval for application 19-38 um, for 8 Loma Vista Avenue. It's a heritage review, design review, Fourier ratio exception, slope use permit, and a variance for the side yard setback. So this was one that we saw last meeting. And so 27th. Yeah. So what we're looking for is a motion to approve the findings. I'll make a motion to approve the findings for um, uh, that number 19-38 at 8 Loma Vista. Is there I a can second? second. Yeah, I can second. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 I will um, <laughs> continue to be opposed as I was the first time. <laughs> so that is uh, four in favor and be opposed. Okay. The next thing we have is approval of the minutes from October 27th. Okay, well, hearing no one else, I will move to approve the minutes of the Larcher Planning Commission uh, meeting of October 27th, 2020. A second. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, none opposed. We have approved the minutes. Are there any Planning Commissioner reports? It is a quiet group. I see none. Okay, uh, all that's left is to formally adjourn. Is there anybody who would like to make a motion along those lines? I'll make a motion to adjourn. All right, is there a second? I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, we are adjourned. So, hey, Christian, so can I ask you a question about that Onyx uh, property? So in general, so I, it, it, a property that has um, a fence in an area where uh, it's it's in this it's in the city I guess right of way that they built the fence and apparently it's gone through two or three changes of ownership with a, with that existing fence there on the back side of the property.